Many of you have heard that Canada and India might go to war, and I'm here to set the record straight about what's actually happening. First things first, in classic star-spangled fashion, it appears that the U.S. was in fact involved. So the U.S. had provided Canada with intelligence showing that the Indian government had in fact killed a Canadian Sikh leader that was against the Indian government. Also, allegedly, Canada had their own evidence as well. Now, instead of admitting everything and saying, oopsie poopsie, our bad, the Indian government decided to take an adrenaline shot to the eyeball and escalate tensions by suspending Canadian visas to India. Have any of you seen a fight between two girls and one of them takes a step back and ties their hair back, thus indicating they're ready to throw hands? This is the diplomatic equivalent of that. Although Canadians are the victims in this situation, Canada's Prime Minister Justin Trudeau is actually taking several steps back by claiming that he does not want to provoke or escalate India, which is ironic because, again, they're the victims. So, aside from Biden casually allegedly raising this concern to Modi at the G20 summit, the FBI has already been warning prominent Sikh leaders in the U.S. that they might be victims of a future assassination. The last and final question that's a bit of a paradox but also a bit of a dumpster fire is to what extent does the international community actually want the U.S. to participate in diplomatic efforts? On the one hand, the U.S. does not receive popular support internationally for its diplomatic roles. Air quote, diplomatic roles. Up to this point, the U.S. has economic leverage on India, but also at the same time we're partners with Canada with essentially everything. We're also their neighbors. So what do you think in the comments section below? Would you want the U.S. to be more of a participant in trying to negotiate a peace deal, or do you think we should take a step back and mind our own business?